I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooskash Kusmash. You gave me the Ooskash Muaf. The Smoosmash. Diddy. Yeah, son. I mean. No, oh, man, I look, man, look, look. I love Diddy, bro. Like, I'm a big Puffy fan, bro. And, like, the way he boss up, the way he son, the way he do things, bro. As long as women are legal, then he sees it as free game, which mm -hmm. to me, I think is a horrible thing as well, because there's in what, 40 something states, 16 is legal. I got a daughter. If I see my 16 year old daughter with any grown ass man, we got problems. I'm, I'm willing and ready to go sit down and do 25 if there's a grown ass man talking to my 16 year old, but that's, that's legal in so many places. Well, you see uh, Puffy supposedly dating Lori Harvey. <sighs> and what's that age difference? That's like, that's like 20 something years. But at least uh, she's, let's she's look Puff. Let's look <laughs> Lori Harvey. She's what, 23? Let's look it up. Let's look this and up. And he's almost, he's 49. He's 22. 22 and 49. Diddy is 49 years old. Oh, man. That is a 27 year difference. Do you have a problem with that? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Do I have a problem with that? Not so much. I wouldn't have a problem with that, but no, I'd be not, heartbroken not. if that was my daughter. So, you ever heard of uh, Panda? Like I was telling you, pa Panda. So, you got. Panda is, a really. se Panda is a secret code for um, a certain thing. Um, and so when it comes down to that certain thing, um, it's so what it is, is uh, you basically have a certain nerve in your rectum. And if you touch that nerve, you can turn a person into an animal. You can turn a person into whatever you want them to be. If you just hold them down. podcast, man. And I, I, I probably should. Oh, wow. <laughs> See what I'm saying? He put on her socks. Why would he do that? Because it's a power thing. It's grippy. By the way, it's grippy, bro. Yo, drugs like a motherfucker. Yes. Got him. That's that's clear. And she said he was intoxicated as shit. But you are Sean P. Diddy Combs. Yeah. And you're in the Intercontinental Hotel, and you run out in a towel. This was. 2000, what, 16 yeah, is there or 18? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy was 46 years old. Yeah. Back then, there was a lot going on with that case. And I remember there was a lot going on with that case because I was there. So, yeah, that was always an allegation that the driver was paid and everything else. But they used all that in court, but Puff didn't, still, Puff didn't get convicted of it. He right. went to trial and they were going after him, but he didn't get convicted because. The, the whole idea was the believability of the witnesses. Right. If they believed that this happened or didn't happen. And I think there was some kind of um, unsurety about if this person was telling the truth or not. Right, right, right. And you were going, we're just going on, you're just going off of what the jury came, the jury of 12 came back with, the verdict. And that's basically what it is. It's, it's, it's the other ones that have to go and say, without a doubt, he's guilty. Right. You know, I was in the courthouse waiting for the verdict, so I know, I was sitting there. Because uh, the police commissioner asked me to sit there and wait because when Puff got arrested, he wanted to know if we would have community arrest. Like, if people were on the streets, going to be upset. If it was going to, back then it would have been a big problem. Yeah. Too, in the streets. Because, you know, people have these riots, these protests. Right. And the police department was very concerned about that at the time. So. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck Diddy, Sean Combs, a titan of the music industry, has captivated audiences for decades. His entrepreneurial spirit and business acumen have built a sprawling empire, while his musical influence has shaped generations of artists and fans. However, beyond the carefully curated image of success lies a layer of intrigue, a web of conspiracy theories that paint Diddy as a puppet master, orchestrating elaborate schemes from the shadows. Central to this narrative is his alleged entanglement with the Illuminati, a purported secret society 
society rumored to control global affairs. This video delves into the Illuminati conspiracy theories surrounding Diddy, examining the evidence presented, the reasons for their persistence, and the potential harm they call. In a series of online videos, Orlando Brown, once a rising star on Disney's That's So Raven, made explosive claims against Diddy. Brown alleges that Diddy lures young men into the industry with promises of mentorship and career advancement, only to subject them to disturbing things and ritualistic freak-offs as part of an alleged Illuminati initiation. He claims these experiences left him traumatized and contributed to his well-documented mental health struggle. Brown's accusations, however sensational, resonate with a pre-existing narrative surrounding Diddy. Whispers have long circulated about his predatory behavior and exploitative tactics towards young artists. These rumors often paint him as a puppeteer, controlling and manipulating careers with an iron fist. Brown's story, while unproven, adds fuel to this fire, suggesting that Diddy's reach extends beyond mere professional manipulation. Orlando Brown's name is not the only one mentioned in connection with Diddy's alleged dark side. Young rappers like YK Osiris and Brasher Gray have found themselves linked to him in similar narratives. Rumors suggest Diddy initiated them into a similar Illuminati-themed world, potentially hindering their careers if they strayed from his expectations. These accusations, though unsubstantiated, highlight a concerning issue within the music industry, the potential for exploitation of young artists. Power dynamics often favor established figures like Diddy, leaving younger artists vulnerable to manipulative tactics and pressure. The most serious accusations surrounding Diddy revolve around alleged sacrifices, including his ex-partner Kim Porter and rapper The Notorious Big Christopher Wallace. Whispers suggest their deaths were not accidental, but orchestrated as offerings to further Diddy's success. This narrative is fueled by the skepticism surrounding Kim Porter's death from pneumonia, with some pointing to conflicting reports and the mysterious death of the initial coroner involved in the case. Kim Porter's death was attributed to natural causes, and Diddy has consistently denied any involvement in Big's murder. Nevertheless, these rumors highlight the dark undertones associated with Diddy's persona and the length to which conspiracy theories can go. These recent accusations come amidst past rumors of Diddy's controlling behavior. Stories have circulated about him dictating career trajectories, sabotaging those who defy him, and fostering an environment of fear and intimidation. Whether these are exaggerations or not, they contribute to a public image that fuels the fire of conspiracy theories. Furthermore, Diddy's own social media presence, while not overtly cryptic, can unintentionally contribute to the speculation. A focus on luxury, success, and a carefully curated image can feed the narrative of someone hiding secrets and wielding unseen power. To conclude, several factors contribute to Diddy's susceptibility to Illuminati conspiracy theories. Firstly, the inherent mystery surrounding celebrity lives fuels speculation. Fans see a meticulously crafted persona on stage and social media, leaving much room for imagination about what goes on behind the scenes. This lack of transparency can foster suspicion and create a breeding ground for conspiracy theories. Secondly, Diddy's career trajectory is often cited as evidence of Illuminati involvement. His meteoric rise from rapper to mogul, coupled with his immense wealth and cultural influence, seems improbable to some. They argue that such success cannot be achieved organically and suggest a pact with the Illuminati, granting him power and privilege in exchange for promoting their agenda. This narrative often extends to Diddy's longtime collaborator, Jay-Z, further fueling the flames of speculation. Proponents of the theory point to various elements in Diddy's career and life as supposed proof of his Illuminati ties. A frequent focus is symbolism. Certain hand gestures, imagery in music videos, and even clothing choices are interpreted as Illuminati sites. For instance, the all-seeing eye symbol, a recurring motif in various cultures and historical contexts, is often misconstrued as a specific Illuminati emblem. The very nature of artistic expression, however, allows for open interpretation. What one viewer interprets as a coded message might simply be artistic expression or a reference to a different cultural touchstone. Furthermore, the Illuminati itself lacks a consistent visual identity, making it easy to misinterpret unrelated symbols. Another point of focus for conspiracy theorists is Diddy's wealth and success. They argue that the music industry is inherently corrupt and that genuine talent alone cannot propel someone to such heights. However, this disregards Diddy's undeniable work ethic, business acumen, and ability to identify and nurture talent. Building an empire requires not just artistic vision, but also strategic planning. Mark
marketing savvy and a keen understanding of the industry. Attributing Diddy's success solely to the Illuminati diminishes his accomplishments and ignores the complex realities of the music industry. Social media, with its curated feeds and cryptic posts, further fuels the rumor mill. Fans and conspiracy theorists dissect every tweet, Instagram photo, and Snapchat story for hidden meanings. A seemingly innocuous post with pyramid emojis or esoteric references can be interpreted as a coded message to fellow Illuminati members. Diddy's own social media presence, while not overtly cryptic, can unintentionally contribute to the speculation due to its focus on luxury, success, and a curated image. And in general, there are several reasons why conspiracy theories about celebrities and the Illuminati hold such a lure. Firstly, they tap into a general distrust of authority figures and powerful institutions. In a complex world where power dynamics are often opaque, conspiracy theories offer a seemingly simple explanation for major events. By suggesting that celebrities like Diddy are part of a hidden power structure, these theories provide a sense of control and understanding. Secondly, the inherent mystery surrounding celebrity lives fuels speculation. Celebrities exist in a world of wealth, privilege, and carefully crafted images. Fans only see a curated version of their lives, leaving much room for speculation about what goes on behind the scenes. This lack of transparency can fuel suspicion and create a breeding ground for conspiracy theories. Thirdly, conspiracy theories offer a sense of belonging and community. Believers can feel part of a group in the know, privy to hidden truths that the general public remains unaware of. Sharing and discussing these theories reinforces this sense of community and belonging. Finally, conspiracy theories can be incredibly captivating narratives. They weave a tale of intrigue, secrecy, and hidden agendas, offering a thrilling alternative to the mundane realities of everyday life. Despite their allure, conspiracy theories about celebrities and the Illuminati can have negative consequences. Firstly, they can perpetuate harmful stereotypes. Illuminati conspiracy theories often rely on anti-Semitic tropes portraying powerful figures of Jewish descent as manipulating world events. This fuels prejudice and undermines legitimate discussions about power and social inequality. Secondly, these theories distract from real issues within the music industry. Power imbalances, exploitation of artists, and the manufactured nature of celebrity personas are all genuine concerns. However, conspiracy theories divert attention away from these issues and towards a fictional narrative about secret societies. Thirdly, conspiracy theories erode trust in legitimate institutions, including the media and government, by painting them as part of a vast conspiracy. These theories cast doubt on their legitimacy and their ability to provide accurate information. This can have a detrimental impact on democratic discourse and public engagement with important issues. The truth about Diddy's success is likely far less dramatic than the Illuminati narrative suggests. His undeniable talent and business acumen played a significant role in his rise to prominence. His ability to identify and nurture talent, coupled with strategic planning and marketing savvy, has allowed him to build an empire in the music industry. Furthermore, the music industry itself is a complex ecosystem with its own power dynamics. Understanding these dynamics, the role of record labels, radio stations, and streaming platforms is crucial in appreciating Diddy's journey. Attributing his success solely to the Illuminati diminishes his accomplishments and ignores the intricate realities of navigating the world of music.